Right, before you can edit your photo in DaVinci Resolve, you need a program called Darktable. So go to this website, darktable.org, and then go to install, and then install the one that's most suitable for you. It's just easy, just run an installer, select the designated folder that you want it to be in, and then once you've installed it, just open up the program. Then this is Darktable. So this is what you'll see. Obviously, this is my photo. You won't see any photos. So you have to go to Add to Library. And then you can pick them up here, Photos. And if you don't see the folder up here, just click on the plus sign. And then navigate to the folder that you want to open. Click Open. And then it will show here. Okay. Select the photo. And then it will show up here in the Light Table menu. Now, usually what you do is you edit a raw photo in dark table before you move it to gimp or to photoshop or whatever you prefer but in this case all you have to do is because this is a raw file and davinci resolve won't allow you to upload raw files in here you have to change it from a raw file to a tiff file right so all you have to do is go up here in the right menu side you've got an export menu up here then select the designated folder that you want it to be saved in give it a name if you desire to do so but make sure that you change the file format to tiff right because that will allow you to keep all the necessary information within the image same like a raw file so you're going to select tiff and then once you've done that you're going to click export with the photo selected you're going to click export okay then go to davinci resolve right mouse button import media or just open up the folder and drag it in here and then you can place your photo inside your timeline Okay, now this is dull because this is a raw file. So now we need to go to the color page. And first, let's add in another node. Right mouse button, add node, add serial. Because that way we always have an original layer to work with. And then this is basically our edit layer. And this is where the magic is going to happen. Because all you have to do right now to edit this photo is go up here and click the A button. And boom, this is the result. Are you kidding me? This is what DaVinci Resolve did to the photo. Now let me show you before and after by clicking here, which is the bypass color grades and fusion effects. So here's the before, the raw file, and then here's an after. Are you kidding me? Now what I like to do is I like to add in some sharpening because when you export this, some quality will be lost. So I'm just going to add in a note, add a serial, then go up here to the blur one and change the blur to the sharper one. And now I can, if you zoom in, you'll be able to see it. You can increase the sharpening by dragging this down, right? I like to be kind of subtle with it. So once again, here's a before, here's an after. Amazing. AI is the future, guys. What can I say? This saves so much time. It's awesome. And then we need to export this, right? So let's open up the gallery. And then with the photo here on the right mouse button, you select grab still. That will create a still up here. And then with your right mouse button, you can go to export. And then you can select the designated folder, just click export, and it will be exported there. 